What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're modding Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. That's right. Today, we're asking the question, what happens if you get to the end of the game and you just pull the prototype down? You see, normally, you wouldn't be able to do that, but today, we have a mod. So earlier this week, my buddy and personal modder, Kokosko, was able to make this mod to make everything selectable. We could just go around the game. I mean, <laughs> I even made myself a little base for fun. As you can see, I got a little platform with a, with a bunch of boxes on it. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's super sturdy. But then look, I also summoned the prototype shrine. We are preparing today. This is gonna be so cool. So I don't even know if any other YouTuber can do this, but I just wanna see if I can go to the end and pull him down. We're gonna see if we can break the game, change the ending. Maybe we even go to different parts of the game and see what's hidden in the backgrounds. And also tomorrow is gonna be the friendly mod. Kokosko is working so hard to make it so that we just click a button and nothing can hurt us. So tomorrow is gonna be the friendly mod but today let's break the game all right i'm excited i kind of have an idea of how to do this but first we got to get to the end and i think i could kind of just break my way into this i think i could just select my character bring myself up and then just go like this does it and it works and i'm going to the end here we go all right well we're here and it's time to break it i want to see though what's outside of this area so if we fly out what do we got? Oh man, oh, whoa, cat down. <laughs> he's just standing up here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does he look funny? He's kind of standing in such a weird pose. He's literally like, yeah, I can't wait to attack this guy. Yeah! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is so cool. I can't wait for him to be friendly. I could see it. I see the potential, you know? Look at him, I, I see a friend there. Oh, but this is the top. This is the area that we're working with here today. This is where the prototype comes in. You know, I could already see it right here. We're gonna look up and I wanna see if I could just select him. You know, I could select this right here. I could even delete it. In fact, well, I think if I, do, if I do delete it, I won't be able to get to the ending, but what if I just select him? It's a cutscene though. So we have to kind of, we have to do some working around some, some stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have a skip to the ending button. So I have to do this uh, legitimately. But what if we just help ourselves here by deleting all of this so I don't have to jump over? I feel like it's just so crazy to be able to do that. Just like, hey, and you know what? No more barrels. All right, here we go. So we got um, this and I think I can just walk through. Oh, yeah, so much easier. All right, well, um, let me just get to the ending now. Oh, wait, what if I just give myself infinite batteries? Hold on. I don't even have to worry. <laughs> I just, I found, I found more batteries. The ending. <laughs> the ending where you find more batteries. Boom. Oh, yeah, we're powering everything here. Woo! Let's go. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Thinking outside the box, you know? I really hope this uh, actually works and there's not just like, fake batteries, you know? Oh, I do notice that I still have to use the steam right here, but it's so easy to just be able to like put it right there. See, what happens if I fly around right now? It's kind of risky, but I gotta see what happens. What happens? There he is, there he is, look at him. All right, things are happening, things are intense. Put in a new battery. Oh man, I don't know if I have enough. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, okay, hold on. I'm actually, I'm kind of failing. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. He was right there. All right, I'm down to the last battery. I'm gonna have to play it a little bit safe here since I still can be attacked. I think at the very end, I wanna slow down time and then I'll start it. It's crazy, even with mods, we still gotta strategize, you know? Okay, I put the speed to half. All right, so now I can still, I think, use the mod. I'm gonna do this. Okay, now I'm gonna try to select the prototype here. Okay, wait, green wire gun prototype? Did I select him? I don't know, am I selecting anything? It's going so slow, I'm trying to find him. Where, where is he? Proto, I don't think, because it's a cutscene, maybe I can't. What if I just slow down time infinitely? Hold on, point zero zero one. No, don't move, don't move, stay, stay. Okay, I have the security terminal here. I could just move the security terminal into our face. Hold on. <laughs> uh, just, uh, just a reminder, time remaining zero, by the way. Okay, so let's just start deleting things. So this is the hatch, right? If I just delete that, okay. You know what, maybe the answer is that it's not possible because it's baked into a, a cutscene. But I mean, I am still, I'm gonna try. This is still so cool to see. <laughs> now I wonder if I speed this up at the end, can I see what happens up there? I'm just gonna start clicking until I delete stuff. 
Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's deleting everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just gonna bring down this wall on him. Cat nap. <laughs> I'm gonna block him real quick. <laughs> Can we do that? Is that gonna work? I kinda wanna keep that there. I wanna see, like, does he have to, like, go through the wall? Oh, I wanna keep selecting. Where is he? I feel like we're almost there. I don't know. Something's getting selected. We're literally moving everything out of the way so we can see what happens. This video should just be called Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Ending, but Dak Blake completely destroys it. So I've went through almost a thousand different, like, models. Look, I'm on, I'm on <laughs> Static Mesh Actor 999. I don't even know where it is. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's increase the speed a little bit. Let's make it a little bit faster. Actually, that's still even too slow. Oh, wait, did I break the game? Hold on. If I put it back at normal speed, oh no, nothing happens. What did I delete? Oh no, oh no, oh no, game, the game is broken. Oh, okay, well, look, we kind of stopped everything from happening. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, maybe we try again. All right, I spent the last, like, 15 to 20 minutes meticulously deleting every single thing. I had to restart and bring myself back here, but hopefully it works. This is the fun, though. You know, modding is just like, it's the question of what if. Can we, you know, kind of thing. All right, <laughs> I made the entire ceiling just open. This is gonna be so good. So I think my goal for this one now is I'm gonna get to the end, uh, but then I'm gonna let him pull catnap up and then I'll re-pull him down. The thing is that they're, they, the lock of my camera during the cutscene really makes it difficult. But I mean, oh, yeah, look, there's catnap already. This is really like we're making our own new ending. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got power for everything. All right, there's a good thing I left this in. Oh, wait, it just brought some of the ceiling back. Hey, that's not allowed. You can't do that. Where was he? Okay, so that... Wait, is that a different one? All right, so I got to the ending now and everything is deleted up top. So now we can just see what happens. So, oh man. Okay, so let's see. Do we even see any more? You know, we don't even get to see any more of him. It's just hidden in their light. All right, well, he's bringing him up now. Okay. And now when he goes up, we're just going to see if we can bring it back down because it's probably still up there. All right. And uh -huh. oh, no, it deletes. It just goes away. It's a whole sequence. I wonder if I could just bring that sequence back in too. Man, we're myth busting the entire thing. Oh, I could summon it again and I could do it over and over again. <laughs> Wait, oh, no way. Oh, whoa. I could just make them endure it over and over again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's happening over and over. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, man. I, I feel like it's going even slower. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's broken. Look at him. <laughs> How did I do that? Oh, man. It's happening over and over again. It's not even in the right spot now. <laughs> What? What is happening? How did I break? <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Man, so you know what this means, though? We have to make a future mod where we save Catnap because this is unchangeable. It's just a cutscene. We're watching, like, a pre-rendered movie. You know, we can't even select anything here. But you know what? We're just beginning. Let's go to the beginning of the game and see if we can find secrets. So it feels weird to start a new game, but... Let's go. So, just restarted the game. Everything is changing, though. Once we uh, <laughs> are able to make everything friendly. I mean, right here, I can just escape this entire thing and go outside of the game. Woo! So, I don't even know what this is, but I'm walking over here. So, this is what the beginning looks like. All super bright. Whoa. So, you have to go through this entire puzzle, get through here, go up into the tunnel where the train is, meet Ollie, and then find your way to here. But what if I just bring myself over here? Does that work? What? So I'm walking through. The weird thing is, is that Ollie's not talking to me because I skipped over it. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna speed through this. I sped up everything five times speed. So now we can see what the outside of the dome looks like. We wanted to do this in the uh, last tiny episode, but we couldn't. So once I'm right here, I'm going to just leave now. Okay. Whoa. So this is what the outside of the dome looks like. Ooh, it looks so cinematic. We would never be able to see all this detail they added. I mean, look at this. 
That is just crazy. Look at this entire outside area. You could like walk up here. This looks like it would have been a level. So instead of even entering the dome, we have now made our own path and we have made it on the outside. This. This is crazy. It, it looks like there's vents that you can almost access here. It is a little wonky though with like how things are, oh gosh. Like it feels like at some points I'm like flying, some points I'm getting stuck. Whoa, and then we can look all the way into the dome here. The amount of detail that you miss is just crazy. They put so much into these rocks, this entire place. Look at these pillars. This is so cool. And then like, what is this? There's a door here. What? I guess it's not like a real door, but it looks so like detailed in the fact that like you would never ever see this. All right, well, let's just delete everything that we can see to see if we can open up this dome. Let's give uh, play care. It's, it's real light here. Just deleting everything. Oh gosh, okay. I think I deleted a little too much. Oh, okay. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. <laughs> All right, I just made it in and it is so dark. All right, I just added the sun to the game. Uh, hold on, way too bright. Ah, there we go. I mean, it's not its not perfect, but we got some light in here now. Okay. All right, I just walked myself into the schoolhouse now. I don't know how any of this works when you don't really do the game, but you just kind of like mod your way into it. How does that work? All right, I just uh, got myself to the ending here. Does this work? Oh man, okay, okay, okay. So now I'm just gonna take myself. Hold on, I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. Take myself, and then I am taking myself out of there. There we go. <laughs> so what does Mr. Light do? <laughs> Mr. Light looks so confused. I'm up here. <laughs> Mr. Light is like, I don't know how to deal with this. He's in the ceiling. Ah! Oh man, I can't wait for when we do the, uh, what is it, friendly mod? We could just walk around and she wouldn't be able to do anything. But hold on, let's do what we do. Boom. Okay. I tried to make her wide. It didn't work. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Boom. <laughs> Oh man, why is my humor so bad? Oh, uh, it looks funny because she looks like she's smiling. Look at her. Oh, she is. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so perfect. Look at her. Oh man, she looks so happy. And her eyes follow you. That is so creepy. Well, I made her really tiny. Oh man, look at her. Oh, I guess making her tiny kind of just affects her bottom jaw. You could just make her talk. <laughs> ah, yes. Hello. <laughs> I remember we did this with Kissy Miss. It's like, boo. <laughs> boo. Uh, hello. <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, my, my humor is so bad. I feel like this shouldn't be that funny. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Smiling for yearbook photos, and they're like, come on, smile harder. Smile harder. Harder. <laughs> Oh man, okay, okay. Well, um, that's probably enough fun today. I feel like it's gonna be even more fun tomorrow. So uh, we kind of figured out that we can't pull him down, but we did change the ending uh, in, in the sense that we deleted everything, we destroyed it, and we made Catnap go through it like several times. We also looked and see, uh, like saw what happens after Catnap gets pulled up. He literally just goes up, gets deleted. He just disappears. Also, I just noticed there's another one out ah. here. Is this what she looks like normally? What? Have Has anybody ever seen this up close? Oh my gosh, that's even creepier for some reason. Oh man, we have her here and then another one there. Wow. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. We've had so much fun here today. We're gonna do more tomorrow. We're gonna do more next week. So make sure you subscribe, join the DAC packs, go towards 3 million subscribers. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this and I wanna make you smile every single day. So if you're feeling bad, you can look up your boy Dak Blake. We can play some games together and I can cheer you up once more. So uh, I'll see you in that next episode. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.